Now these days, when you want to print a document to your printer, wireless is built right into them in many cases. A lot of the more higher end ones or the office ones don't have wireless built into them, but it's still, it's a cool feature where you don't need to wire anything and just plug it in, um, connect to the printer and you're done. But back in the 90s and early 2000s, that wasn't really the case. It was still a lot of, if you wanted networking, you needed say a JetDirect module or maybe a product from Linksys or someone similar to that. Um, Otherwise, you were using parallel port, or maybe if you were lucky, you were using uh, USB. But in this case here, we have another feature which is kind of cool and, well, didn't really catch on for a variety of reasons that we might actually show off here. But this printer here is the Hewlett Packard LaserJet 5P. The P, I believe, denotes that this is the personal model for it. It's a much slower unit, it's a bit smaller than the usual HP LaserJet 5, but it does come with the usual features in it, like 600 DPI scaling, or not scaling, um, picture resolution. We have PCL version 5, PC and Mac drivers, but there's also another little thing here which specifies IRDA. Now, what the hell is IRDA? Well, for you guys in the mobile computing world, or maybe you had a ThinkPad that had it, um, IRDA refers to the infrared port that would be on your computer device. This allowed you to wirelessly transfer data between one device to the next, and it supported other cool features such as plug and play. And for this demonstration here, I'm going to show wireless infrared printing working to this printer here using this Fujitsu Stylistic tablet running Microsoft Windows XP Tablet PC Edition. So it may look um, a little dated for some people. Anyways, so like I said, it's a plug and play device. So I'm just gonna lean over the table here with the laptop and it's gonna make a chime. And because we have the infrared port right here, when I bring it towards the little black window on the printer, it's going to go beep and say it's gonna find devices. Let's see what it does. There we go. And it saw it. It's installing the drivers now, is it? Can't really see. Yes, it is. And it should pop up, and there we go. It's ready to use. I can see it there in the printer's control panel. And if I were to pull away from it, it's gonna make a noise. There we go. So it has wandered away, but I want to print a document on this here. So I'm just gonna print off a pretty simple graphic. And I don't need to be online and directly connected to the printer when I wanted to print, just when I'm ready to print. So I'm going to select it here using the Windows Print Utility Next, next, oh, there we go. Specify our HP LaserJet 5. Otherwise, it's gonna try and print to the HP LaserJet 4, which is directly behind me over here, but it's actually hidden behind the LaserJet 5, so you can't actually see it. Anyways, here, HP LaserJet 5P. I'm gonna go right back in front of the window here, and it's gonna go whoop and say, there we go, we're connected. So I'm gonna say next, I want my graphic. We're gonna print that document. This is a 10 megabyte document, so it will take a while, but the printer's already blinking a light on it, so that indicates it's starting to print. And this is one of the downsides to using infrared wireless. Um, you can't really have um, high speeds and high bandwidth because one, you're fighting the light, and in this case here, the studio lighting is, I believe, dropping down the bandwidth a little bit. Two, you gotta be in direct line of sight, hence why I'm leaning over the table right now in order for this document to print. And as a result of both of them, it can take a little while for these files to transfer. Now, it'd only be a few seconds on a modern wireless printer, but hey, let's play it the old-fashioned way, and let's wait for this damn document to print. And there we go. Starting, so I can now actually wander away here. I'm just going to start printing. And again, this is an older laser jet printing technology, so it's not fast at all. And it's going to take itself probably a good 30 seconds here. I'm thinking this is what? Two, three pages per minute? Four pages per minute? Here it comes now. And what if we print it out? Oh, well, look at that. It's our logo. But that was done completely wirelessly from this tablet to this laser jet here over infrared printing.